okay now let's add replies to these comments so before that let me quickly review what we have done till now first we created our comments table uh, uh, and which contains user id body and commentable id commentable type then we set up our polymorphic relationship between our comment and our thread model so this is how we set commentable model also we set uh, the u our relationship with user so if we go to thread model we defined a comments method so that we can fetch the comments for this particular thread and uh, finally we added our view on single dot blade uh, so that it will display all the comments and uh, now we'll add replies to comments to particular comment okay so previously we added reply to thread now we'll uh, add reply or comment to comment so in order to do that uh, like we did for our thread we made our thread commentable and now what we have to do is we have to make uh, comment itself commentable so if you don't understand what I mean by that uh, we, we just need to define a comments method inside comment.php like we did for thread So let me quickly copy this into our comment model so that we uh, we get comments inside comments or uh, those will be replies to the comments. Okay, with relationship defined, let's add a method to add comments to comment. So we need to go to comment controller and here uh, like for thread, we need to add same for our comments so uh, this method will be slightly different at i will just call it add reply comment so request will be same uh, but only different will be comment this time comment okay uh, now we need to change it here as well. I'll call it reply created. So with method defined, we need to uh, define our routes for this particular method inside our web.php. So let's go to web.php, make copy of on this route and comment so we need to make it comment because we are injecting like this okay I'll just call it reply create comment okay so uh, this will be posting to this route and I will name it uh, reply comment dot store also the name of method will be at reply comment okay add reply comment so now route is defined as well now let's go to our uh, view so that will be single dot plate and here we'll define a uh, view necessary to show replies so uh, let's collapse this so this is the comment form okay so this is the list of comment uh, so inside this div so inside this loop we need to define our replies so first of all let's collapse these this action button okay so inside this loop um, okay, let's put this div inside our loop and here uh, we'll define the replies reply to comment
so first we need to loop through our replies so for each so this time comment comments okay since we define comments method inside our comment model so that we can def uh, call that method as a property and loop through it to show our comments so as reply and for each So we'll define, we'll make this small and we'll define well class and give it text info. Okay. And inside paragraph, we'll show our reply body. and in lead tag we will display the author reply access the user method and name of user we can add by here All right, so now let's add uh, the action button for edit and delete. So we can copy this action button from our comments into our replies. So here we need to make slightly slight changes like replace comment with replies. okay cool so so we'll name this button as reply and we'll delete this uh, model footer so this will be close and save changes we don't need that for now okay so with that said uh, now uh, we can uh, we'll see replies so at the moment we have no replies uh, so in order to add that let's create a reply form so this will be the reply list so just below here we'll add our form reply form and I'll copy this comment form into here and I'll make slight changes so this is our reply form let's go call this reply form okay so uh, the change will be it will point to uh, reply comment dot store and we'll be passing the reply id not thread id this time sorry we will be passing comment id because we are creating the uh, reply okay so yeah reply to the comment so we need to pass parent because while creating comment we pass the thread id which is the parent so this time uh, when we are creating reply to a particular comment we need to pass the comment id so i hope that makes sense 
reply okay so yeah that should look cool so name will be body so let's view this repress so the reason why we cannot see reply form is we have uh, we have included our reply form inside our loop of comments sorry replies so if we have no replies we'll see no form so that's why we need to just uh, cut it from here inside this loop so uh, cut it from there and place outside the reply loop like here okay so this will be the view for our comment and this will be the reply form Okay, let's see if it is working so I will comment on this Python is better best and better that's right reply all right so what's the problem let's see let's go to comment controller okay so uh, this is naming problem let's uh, uh, call this reply because we copied it from here so uh, since we are using this variable to create the comment and we'll call this reply reply okay so uh, this now this comment will be the comment ID which will be passing from our form okay since we make this reply we need to pass this reply okay so this way uh, it will automatically insert commentable id and commentable type which be uh, which will be the comment id commentable type and comment model itself the commentable type okay so we are passing this object to save method okay so let's test this uh go to ruby and let's create a new comment Ruby or PHP so this is the main comment and let's create reply to this comment reply so now we can see the reply to this comment okay so we need to fix CSS slightly uh, we'll do that in, uh, in, in a moment okay so now we can see a comment and reply to comment you can create another comment Ruby is better yeah so this is the comment this is the comment all right so let's quickly uh, make it uh, look better okay let's uh, go to our main layout so that will be layout front and here uh, inside the content we'll remove the well from well class from here and we'll put it inside content So this will uh, look like this. Uh, next, I will add HR like horizontal row, and we can add one br tag. So this will be the main thread, and these will be replies. So next, we'll wrap this uh, main comment list inside well as well. And well large
also we'll add horizontal line with one br tag so we'll add slight margin for these replies to that comment so let's do that so this is comment list and this is the reply list so i will add inline style for now so margin left will be will give us okay 50 pixel will do let's give 40 pixels okay yeah it looks better so uh, now we'll make this hidden and only visible when we hit reply button okay yeah we can move this form just above all these listing let's do that so this is the comment list and this is the reply form we'll cut it we'll just replace it uh, so previously it was below the replies and now we'll make we'll just put it above the reply lists yeah so this is the reply form and now we'll add a button to toggle the reply so I'll add button so class will be button button extra small we'll make default button so reply let's see how it looks yeah looks cool now we can remove this br tag okay now i uh, will make this reply form hidden and we'll toggle that with uh, js so i'll add hidden class so with that hidden class it should be not visible yeah so i'll add br tag below form as well Okay, let's define javascript for this so i will add a section for javascript in our layout front layout so i'll call js and inside our single dot blade i'll create section for our javascript js and section so here we'll create our script tag and we'll create our function toggle reply so this will accept the id of form because we we got uh, we'll have different forms for this this okay so that we can target the specific form for a specific reply uh, comment so to do that we need to pass the id to this function and uh, we'll get reply form and we'll uh, Pass the ID dot toggle class will be toggling the hidden class. Okay, so uh, we got this reply form class, but we need to um, pass dash and ID of comment. Yeah, we can reply ID be more specific. Uh, sorry this will be comment id we'll be creating comment to reply sorry reply to the comment so we got reply form here and we need to add dash and then comment id all right so now uh, in this button let's define that fun oh, sorry call that function so on click toggle reply and will pass comment id 
Yeah, that's cool. So let's check that refresh. Yeah, and let's add margin here as well. Bottom. Okay, so now uh, we want to reply to this comment. Let's hit reply. Okay, what's the error? Let's open up console. So, uh, ID is not defined. Sorry, we are using ID, but that is comment ID. Yeah, a little typo there. Okay, so uh, reply. Yeah, we can toggle the reply. So we can uh, just put this reply form a bit. We can give that margin as well. So this is our reply form. Let's give it slight margin. So style margin left will give 50 pixels as well. Yeah, so let's create another comment. Python. So Python versus Laravel. And let's uh, create reply to this. Laravel is framework. Yeah, so we can see reply to that comment. So as you can see, this is the latest uh, reply and we're seeing it down. We want to make that appear on top. So in order to do that, we need to go to our comment dot php and here define like latest okay so similarly if we want to uh, make our thread also in same way we need to go to thread dot php and do same okay refresh now we should see latest reply up here okay Okay, if you are confused, you can download code and look uh, there. So now let's uh, dry some code. So what I mean by dry is just don't repeat your codes. At the moment, we are repeating our code. Like if you uh, go on thread controller uh, thread.php, you can see this method here. Also in comment, you can see same method, not a uh, single difference. Also, if you go to comment controller. Here as well, uh, you can see this uh, saving comment thing repeating. We can refactor this. Also, if we want to add reply to any other uh, model like post and other in future, we have to make this reusable. So uh, this is fine for a small project. Uh, if the project is large, we need to make uh, refactor this. So uh, to refactor this, uh, we'll make our trait and we'll use that trait on uh, these classes. Okay, so if you don't understand what I mean by trait, you can wa uh, see documentation for trait. So basically the trait will be a class which we will use on these classes where we want to import the functionality. So uh, let's do that. Okay, first of all, we'll uh, create a trait. So you can place it anywhere. I would like to place it inside app and here I will create a new file so yeah so PSP storm let me create this class so I can di uh, directly click uh, create class you can create a file and then write some code so let me show you so I will name it commentable trait you can name it anything so it will be the trait and if i hit ok so only thing uh, that will be different is uh, it will create uh, this boilerplate by default okay so if you are not using php storm you just have to write this okay like much not a big deal okay so uh, now our trait is defined so now we need to import that uh, repeating method here 
so let's open up command controller let's see this side by side okay so here this bit of code we can uh, put it here so just copy it from there and here we'll define a public function and name it add comment so here we'll just paste this and here uh, this will be body body and we need to pass that parameter we'll require that parameter so body content and this will be the same and instead of this thread so here comes the real power of uh, trade so currently we are defining the uh, model where we want to create comment so here what we can do is we can just replace this with this so whichever model will be using this commentable trait will uh, pass this model so if we are using it on thread model uh, it will be so if we are using thread model it will pass thread here and if we are using on comment like here so it will be comment here this will be comment by default so if you don't understand just watch you'll understand in a moment so now and we'll return the comment i sorry comment all right so now we have defined that so here what we can do is we can just call the we'll just comment this and we can call like this uh, thread and add so php storm let me uh, see all the methods so for example you can see you have to see this method appearing here so the reason it is not appearing here is we are not using this trait in our thread model so if we go to thread model in thread.php so here we need to use this trait so that we have access to this add comment model sorry method so here we can use like this so use commentable trait so now let's switch back to comment controller and so here add comment now we can see that method appearing so we will pass body so request body so we replace this bit of code with this and this is usable as well so let's do same for our comment and we'll get rid of this and replace it with comment okay much cleaner so similarly we we have to add and use this trait on our comment model as well otherwise it will not work use commentable trait okay so that's all set up so next uh, what we can uh, dry is we can just put this comment method in our trait uh, if you see we are using same uh, method in comment and thread as well so we'll just put this we'll cut it out from here and just put it inside our commentable trait all right so we no longer need it here also we can remove it from thread as well all right so with that set our trait is all set up with our method to create comment and relationship so it is quite usual so if we want to make another model commentable for instance post you just need to use this trait and you are all set up and while creating comment just call this method add comment okay so this is all about creating commenting system in our web forum